So I'm doing a show called The Cup, and as I'm thinking about this message, I want you to think about this. Is God wants to fill up your cup, right? And we we might be running on empty right now, but listen to this verse. Oh, wow. Listen to this verse. Um, it says, may God of hope fill... Wait, let me say it again. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So God wants to overflow you with hope, right? But our cup gets empty. Here's the great news. Is that God, He will just take, He'll fill up your cup, right? Okay? As you come to Him, He just fills up your cup. That's what God wants to do. And then you become a cup filler. So, so you come over here, like, you come over here, and you fill up other people's cups, right? But you can't fill up your cup, right? If God isn't filling you up. So every day we have to trust that God wants to fill us up. He wants to fill up your cup. But you have to get in His presence. You have to be with Him and let Him fill up your cup. And as He fills up your cup, then you can go to other people and fill up their cup. But if you're just running on empty and then other people come up to you and they're like, hey, can you help me out? You're just running on fumes and you have nothing to give them. So you need to keep getting in God's presence, right? Because in that Romans passage that we read, is God overflows your cup. And it also says that in Psalm 23, right? It's that God overflows your cup. When the woman at the well, right, in John chapter 4, comes to Jesus, Jesus says, look, the water I give to you, the water I give, you'll never go thirsty because God, He's not ever going to run dry. We can trust that He has enough. He will always have enough so that we can pour in others, that we can encourage others, that we can bless others. But we've got to get in His presence. As you spend time with God, He fills you up. Don't try to do things on your own. In John 15, 5, it says, apart from me, you can do nothing. We can't do anything without Him. We're empty without Him. But with Him, He fills us up and He keeps filling and filling and filling. So that's what I want to encourage you with, is be a cup filler today. But you have to get your cup filled to spend time in God's presence and then go bless others, love on others, encourage others, serve others. That's what you're designed to do. And if you haven't heard about the show yet, the show is called The Cup. You can find out more about it and reserve your seat on Monday, this Monday at 10 a.m. See ya.